Good day everyone, I'm Joshua Kuhlman of Flighty Contractors and today I'm going to talk to you about how to replace the padding without replacing the carpet. Now when it comes to doing this it's actually a bigger job than you might think because you have to remove all your old carpet without tearing it or cutting it, take that out of the room and then proceed to take up your old padding removing all the staples after that's up and then lay new padding down and then bring your old carpet back and install it. Here we have a little display of what is actually underneath of your floor. So you have your carpet on top and then they put a padding underneath that. And What they do is they staple that usually along the seams and along the walls that keeps it from shifting a little bit. A lot of times they'll run one strip right down the middle of about five or six staples. Then under that you have your subfloor. So what you'll do is you'll remove all of the old carpet then you'll take a hammer and a flat bar some people like to use a screwdriver that way they can get between those staples that are installed here but you'll take this and you'll go ahead and remove this old padding go through clean up all the staples before installing your new padding then you'll take your padding so we'll take our padding put it into place using the staple gun you'll go around the outsides and staple it down you don't have to do it real close together, just enough to keep it from sliding. After you've gone around the entire outside, you'll go through and do it across the middle too. Then you'll take your next piece, butt it right up to there, and staple it into position. Now after all that's down, you'll install your carpet. I'm Joshua Clement of Flighty Contractors and we just talked about how to replace the padding without replacing your carpet. Thank you for watching. Good luck with this project.